The ambassador of Denmark to the United States is here in Seattle and made time to chat with us. Ambassador Jesper Muller Sorensen is here on the couch at the New Day studio. Welcome. Did I say that right? That was perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great to be here. We are delighted to have you, so much so that we actually brought in Danish pastries from the local Danish bakery, Larsen's. Now, I think this is legit because Paul Larsen allegedly studied and, and was born in Copenhagen. So this is a Kringle? That is a Kringle or Kringle in Danish, and it looks just like it came out of a Danish bakery. Oh, well, that's good mm -hmm. to know. Would you like some? Should I? Should I would love some. Okay, I will Thank serve you, you some. Yeah. But I want to ask you, of course, you know, I'm assuming the, the, the Danish embassy is in D.C. What brings you to Seattle? So I'm out here to, first of all, to... Um, to expand our collaboration mm -hmm. between Denmark and uh, the state of Washington. Oh. Uh, we already have a number of uh, Danish companies active out here, uh, but we see an interest in, in doing more. Uh, okay. I think this is an, a state that has a very green profile, mm. uh, energy, energy efficiency, uh, renewables. Uh, those are kind of some of the areas where where we are very strong and that we want to promote. Oh, so that's our connection then, because we are very conscious here and trying to be very, mm -hmm. very green. I know Denmark is, though, a global leader when it comes to uh, transportation, sustainability. Uh, tell me about the role your country plays in the green transition overall. Mm. So back in the early 1970s, Denmark was actually almost 100% dependent on energy from the outside, mm -hmm. especially oil. Right, right. Uh, we started that transition, uh, and over the last 50 years, Denmark has become almost um, uh, energy independent. Energy independent, uh, almost, completely. Uh, on, a, on a given day, you will have days where we produce maybe 100, 150% of our energy consumption mm -hmm. by renewables, especially uh, wind. Mm -hmm. uh, Danish, you know, the Danish wind industry yeah. really became a, a global leader, both uh, onshore wind, but also offshore. Um, didn't it even has know. also expanded into areas like natural gas, mm -hmm. where we, especially the biogas component is very significant. Yeah. So I would think that by 2027, 28, we will on any given day be, have more than 100% of our electricity generated by renewables. It is not important for, I mean, on the global footprint, mm -hmm. one thing is what Denmark does in Denmark. Denmark is a small country, it's right. seven, six million people, mm -hmm. but we have an ambition to help and to support that transition also in other countries. And if you can show how it's done. Yeah. I think that's the key is that when you show it can be done, exactly. because so much of resistance is, how are we going to do this? We can't do it. Well, yeah. Denmark has done it. That's right. Uh, so we want to be this uh, front runner that mm -hmm. uh, also does knowledge sharing, mm -hmm. uh, enters into, co into collaborations, also government to government. Mm -hmm. I'm actually also signing an MOU out here in Washington tomorrow with Northwest Natural and uh, I Sustain. And you know, we want to bring in our mm -hmm. technologies, our knowledge, and cooperate with those who would like to cooperate with us. That's amazing. Thank you for bringing that. And thank you for being here, Ambassador. I've cut you your kringla. Thank and you. Um, I hope you enjoy that. It has been a delight to chat with you, Ambassador. Um, you. And enjoy that Danish. Thank you very much. It's great.